So you've been approved for 1440p. 2K Streaming's here for Twitch, and I'm here to help you set up and troubleshoot any issues you may be having while running that on your stream. Okay, so now that you're approved for 2K Streaming, let's set it up in OBS. So what you're gonna do is go into your settings, and in your settings, you're gonna go to video, and then your base canvas needs to be set for 2560 by 1440. You might have to type this in, it may not be an option in there. And then your output resolution needs to match that. 2560 by 1440. Um, we're gonna go over 30 frames per second or 60. If your system can handle it, I would highly recommend 60 over 30. And we'll go over that in a minute. That's your first step. Now let's go ahead and hit apply and move on to the next. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go into stream. Once you're in stream, you want to enable enhanced broadcasting, put your streaming bandwidth in auto, and then the maximum video tracks. What this is going to do is this is going to take your GPU and encode all the streaming resolutions out to Twitch for your viewers to be able to watch. This is currently the only way for them to be able to watch you in 1440 while you're in the beta 2K. Um, you need a minimum bandwidth. Now this is your upload speed of 18 megabytes per second. That's what I recommend dedicated to your PC streaming to Twitch. Now, if you do not have 18 megabytes per second upload speed to be able to dedicate, you might not be able to do this and you're gonna have a lot of network loss. Okay, now some big things you wanna make sure that you have done is within your stream, make sure that your Twitch is automatically connected. This helps for OBS to run everything smoothly. So now let's set your output up. Let's make sure that you are set right. On your video encoders, the first thing, make sure that you are set for your H.264. This is gonna utilize your GPU rather than your CPU for encoding, which is what's required for enhanced broadcasting. Make sure your rescale output is disabled and rate control of CBR, your bit rate will not matter. You can change this number all you want, but enhanced broadcasting is gonna take over control of your bit rate for all the encoding levels. The only things that you will need to mess with is gonna be your preset and profile. Whenever you go to test this out, which we're gonna go over in a minute, is the preset and profile and your frame rate. This is gonna be how much your PC is able to handle while you're enhanced broadcasting in 1440. But if you have an NVIDIA graphics card doing your encoding, one of the main things that you need to have turned off while streaming in 2K is the look ahead and adaptive quantization. These are two heavy loads on your GPU because you're now doing gaming and 2K enhanced broadcasting. I would highly suggest turning both of these off to lighten the load on your OBS while streaming in 2K. Okay, now we're ready to test this out. So what you're going to want to go do is go to stream. This is a lot of things that people don't understand on Twitch. You can test out your full load of your streaming without actually going live. So please, please guys, stop putting in your titles, test stream. Don't do it. It's a pet peeve of mine. Simply enable bandwidth test mode, hit apply and okay. So what we're going to do now is when you go live, when you hit that start streaming, you're going to have a pop up come up saying you will be encoding and sending out to Twitch without going live. Just simply hit yes. And you're going to see your bandwidth down here at the top at the bottom. That bandwidth is going to pop up. It should be around anywhere from 16 to 18,000. That 18,000 is what mine usually rides around. And that's all the encoding. And this is why you need 18 megabytes per second of upload speed. If you don't know what your upload speed is, simply go and check on Google. Just type in speed test and then see if you have that. Now say you only have 18 megabytes per second for your whole network. You may get throttled down because other devices on your network might be using some of that. One of the big things that people don't realize on their network that uses a lot of upload speed, you have a ring doorbell camera, any kind of network camera that goes to an outside service, constantly taking that video feed and sending it out. Now, here's the thing we need to figure out is your PC handling streaming at 1440? You're going to want to go to view and bring up your stats. First, let's reset this. 
if you're having any issues at all with your network you're going to see right here drop frames network it's going to show right here you want that to be zero that means your pc sending through your network to twitch is getting everything you're encoding to them right so that means your network is healthy now your frames missed due to rendering lag or skip frames due to encoding lag is going to show up right here your goal on both of these is less than 0 0.1 yes 0 0.1 ideally you want zero now we're in bandwidth test mode let's fire up a game and stream everything all together without actually going live uh, in my settings i've changed my output for the keyframe interval to two my preset to balanced and my profile to main if you are on a nvidia graphics card where this one's an amd you may have a preset of p1 through p9 personally i set mine at p4 on my stream pc that is the equivalent of balanced i've also set the profile to main as well which is the balanced middle setting we're gonna go ahead and hit apply okay we have our stats up which i'm gonna reset we have our task manager up with the performance of the gpu make sure your video codec engine is on there it should be zero while you're not streaming let's start this up in bandwidth test mode and go back into our game let's give this a second as the stats roll in you'll be able to see both of our stat pages here we have no frame missing we have our video codec in running at 70 75 percent. that's good we're looking good we're not missing any frames or anything our network is healthy we have no network issues as well so let's go back into the game try to cause some delays here a little rendering lag now smoke is always something hard to render into a game this is going to be a heavy load as we come in all the damage being done now let's go test what we got going on here our video codec engine handled that fine you can see our gpu jumped up but didn't max out that's another thing let's not have your gpu max out on 3d rendering if you start having high rendering loads like that in your game please go dial back the video quality um if your gpu is running at 100 percent dial it back just a little bit again you're having to test whether you want to stream and have a quality stream to your viewers or do you yourself want to see the best quality again we're content creators please stream the best content to your uh, to your viewership we have uh no frame frame rate loss rendering we are still running that under 3.0 and no network loss if you're having network loss simply do not have enough bandwidth to run upload speeds for 2k <clears throat> If you're still missing frames or rendering lag, go into your game, go into your settings and dial some of these back. Apex, everybody runs it on low anyways. It's not that big of an issue. But some other games, if you're depending on your content streaming type, make sure that you're running a balance between your game's quality and what OBS is able to run at the same time. 2K does take a lot of streaming resources. Make sure that your streaming resources are balanced out for your stream use and enhance broadcasting with bandwidth test mode to test out your stream without going live all right guys if you have any more questions upon streaming in 2k to twitch please comment down in the comments below i will be able to answer them pretty promptly you can also catch me live on twitch every night 8 p.m pacific standard time or join the discord there's a lot of helpful people in there i'll link both the discord and the stream down below